expectations versus reality. How can you create a successful YouTube channel? Let's talk about it. I'm Rob and I'm a YouTube product expert and I've been doing this since 2011. So let's talk about the disconnect between our expectations and reality. Whenever we do something new, whenever we start from the beginning, we're starting from the beginning of time and we're starting from the beginning of our knowledge. We don't know anything about it, more or less. Um, you know, it could be learning to drive a car, it could be trade school, college, a relationship when you start to date somebody and we're not going to talk about that today. <laughs> we'll leave relationships to another time. But we're going to focus today on YouTube. But growing a successful, you know, starting and growing a successful YouTube channel is the same as starting and growing and doing anything else. So if we want to be successful on YouTube, it's the same thing that we go through, the same experiences, the expectation versus the reality, just like learning to drive a car, are, are learning to be a you know a plumber, electrician, and in trade school, going get a degree in college, dating you know again whatever it might be, it's the same thing. So let me share a real simple basic graph that shows you what I'm talking about. So what we have here is time and our knowledge, and if we graph reality, we start down here with no knowledge and the beginning of time for this event. And we kind of learn fast at the beginning and then it sort of levels out and goes like that. So, you know, we can make a straight line, but usually when we start to learn something, we learn a little faster at the beginning. And then as we gain more and more knowledge, it, it kind of levels off. And this is reality. So again, in the reality of something is starting at zero, no time and no knowledge. And then as we learn something, we learn kind of fast at the beginning and then, you know, it levels off. And it might be linear, it might be curved like I drew it. Some days we may learn a little more, some days we may learn a little less, but that is the reality of how we learn. And the difficulty that comes in is our expectation, what we think that we know. And that curve looks like this. We start down here at zero, the same place, but we think we know more than we do. So it goes up really fast. So what we have there is that very beginning when you know we get triggered to start our YouTube channel. Maybe a friend has a YouTube channel, Somebody, you know, you see someone, maybe someone that lives in a van and puts out two videos and gets a million subscribers and you say, hey, I can do that. Whatever it is, something triggers you and you start your channel and you have this expectation that I just got to upload some videos and boy, I'm just going to get all kinds of subscribers and views. And so you, you, you think that you're more knowledgeable than you really are. So that's why you shoot up you know, really, really high fast because you don't know anything, but you don't know that you don't know anything. And again, we're focusing on YouTube, but that's true for anything. You have that initial, I'm smarter than I really am thinking because you just don't know what you don't know. And then at some point, something happens, you know, you're not getting the views on your channel, you're not getting the subscribers, you're, it's harder to make the titles than you thought it was gonna be, it's harder to make thumbnails, why aren't people clicking? And you, then you start studying and you, you know, do the Creator Academy, you watch other videos um, on how to do things and you start realizing that you don't know as much as you thought you knew and so the curve starts to turn down. So we go from our peak here and we start to come down and our, we go down, down. As we study and learn more and more, we realize we don't know as much as we thought and we actually cross the line and come down here somewhere. So again, this line is what we really know. This curve here is what we think we know. 
So at this point right here, we actually think that we know less than we know. And this is really bad. This is an important, so hang on. So again, that first top at the top there, that was our peak of our expectations. And then we slowly start dropping down as we take classes, as we work on our thumbnails and our click-through rate, and we start making more videos, and we're working on lighting and our audio and, and all of those things, we start realizing that we know less than we thought we did. And eventually, most people, we end up in whatever it is in life again, um, you know, schooling, learning, trade, a job, and you're in, you're, you've been at your job for a month or two or whatever, and at some point we tend to get below what we actually know, so our expectation has dropped below the reality of where we are, and this is critical when we're right here. This is the time when we get, we'll call this, you know, it's like disillusioned. We're, you know, hard on ourselves. We think we can't do it. We're, we're beating ourselves up because we th actually think that we know less than we know because we know that there's a lot out there to learn and we're just like, we're never going to be able to do it. And this is the point when people can fail. This is where, when you're down at this, the dumps like this, when you're disillusioned, this is where people bail and just quit and they give up when they really know more than they think that they know so that's the silliest thing to do but it happens you get down in that dip and you want to give up so if you hang in there and keep working on your channel and keep studying keep doing the creator academy keep working on your titles and keywords and your thumbnails and you start to climb up like this so from here you start to come up and you get up and up and up and up and then you get your expectation gets close to reality. So this sloping curve when you're learning and you're realizing that you don't know as much as that you think you know and so your expectation comes back up to the reality and then that's great because that's when <laughs> the reality of what you know and your expectation of what you think you know are, are getting really close together. And that's like the sweet spot when your, your thumbnails are starting to click, your titles are starting to click, you're starting to get views, you're getting the results that you think that you should be getting and, and it's matching up. And if you can live through you know, the roller coaster ride to get to that point, you're in good shape. And then from the rest of time, it looks like this. So you get here and maybe your expectations go up a little and down a little and up a little and down a little. But basically, your expectations and the reality of what you know match up. This is when things really happen. This is that sweet spot you, you really mastered the platform. You know what you're doing. What you're doing is producing the results. You're, you're productive and, and things are matching up. And this is really good because this is when you can really start you know, happening on YouTube. When your subscribers start to take off and your views start to take off and your watch time starts to take off and you know, maybe you're getting monetized at this point because you, you've stuck through the dip and, and you're, you know what you're doing. And you know, so the one question that often comes up then is, well, Rob, how long does it take to get to this point? And unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that because all of us are individuals. I can promise you that it's not weeks and it's probably not even months. Uh, we're talking years. You know, you think of, of learning to drive a car when you get your license and get out and how much longer it takes to really understand how to drive a car. When you go to trade school to be a plumber, electrician, a, a lineman, work, you know, whatever it is, it, it takes a long time to get really good at what you're doing. I mean, college is four years. Medical school, law school, those things are more years after that. And then you, you still 
apprentice and residency and intern and you all, you know, it takes a long, long time to truly master because time and knowledge are, are the two components on, on the graph that I made. And you'll see this graph in all different kinds and forms and all different names by different people. But, but the, you've got your reality and then you've got your roller coaster expectations and of knowledge. And the other thing that takes time, you know, knowledge is wonderful, but I'm sure you've heard the term, oh, that person is book smart, got no common sense is the other thing that just takes time that you cannot shortcut is, is something called wisdom. And having the wisdom to know what's working and what isn't, that just takes experience. So you, in, you, know, you, you have time, you're working at your knowledge and you're fine tuning the your reality of where you are with your expectations of where you are and then eventually a year two years three years whatever it is for you and it's going to be different for all of us but it is going to be a considerable amount of time is then the wisdom starts to kick in that you really understand what it is that you're doing so i hope you've enjoyed this video Subscribe, watch another video so you can grow your channel and be successful here on the YouTube platform.